Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Alyssa and this is my channel, Shiva She Writes Books. So today I wanted to do a TBR video, which I can't remember the last time that I did a TBR, TBR video, probably sometime last year. Um, I've just been having a hard time getting into reading. Um, the last book that I actually finished was just recently. It was the first book in the Raven Cycle series, and this is book two, which I'm currently on. I am... Oh, have to be careful with this copy, because most of my books for this month are from the library, but I am between pages 18 and 19, and I read the Raven Cycle last month, or technically it's still, still April, it's the 30th right now, um... I absolutely loved, loved, loved the, Ra or the Raven Boys. Oh, I love the Raven Boys so much. Um, this is a paranormal novel or a paranormal series that is all about this group of boys who are trying to find Glendower and they run into a psychic's daughter and she is supposed to fall in love with one of those boys. Um... I just, this is the book that is getting me back, in, or the series that's getting me back into reading, and so I'm very, like, lovey-dovey over it. So, the first book that I want to finish, since I am 18 pages into it so far, I think I'm on chapter two, and that is The Dream Thieves, which is book two in the Raven Cycle series and then I have book three from the library also you can see my thing the, the tag there um this is blue lily lily blue and I absolutely love that title and this book cover like all of these book covers I like the white aesthetic to it but the story is more important to me because it's so good and I've been trying to find good paranormal stories I just don't know any authors, so if you know any authors within the YA genre or even in the adult genre or new adult, please let me know because I want to read more and my hair is bothering me. I want to read more paranormal because I've been writing a lot of paranormal, so please leave those recommendations down below. And the next book that I'm reading, which is actually an audiobook on my library book app, um... And that is called Altered Carmen. It has one season on Netflix, which I think... <sighs> okay, the thing with sci-fi is I actually haven't read a lot of sci-fi. I've read a little bit of Cinder by M Marissa Meyer, which I do have, but I think I've packed that already because we're going to be moving. Um, yeah, so I have read part of that, and that was easier to read like, I don't know. Sci-fi, reading sci-fi is hard for me because I'm more of a visual person when it comes to the sci-fi genre. So watching anything in like Star Wars or um, Guardians of the Galaxy, I would classify that as a sci-fi because it's also taking, taking place in space. Um, Fifth Element, all those movies are so much easier to watch rather than to read or to listen to, but listening to Alter and Carmen, it's so hard to um, wrap my head around the concept of the story, which I've had to have my dad, who's watched the show, the season one, twice, and he really, really, really loves it, and I've had to ask him like three or four times already if he can help me wrap my head around it, and then last night when I asked him again, I was like, you know what, maybe it would be easier to stop listening to the audiobook right now and watch the TV show, because for me, like I said, I'm a visual pers person, visual learner, so with this genre, I have to see what I'm hearing, because I just think sci-fi is just so much harder to 
imagine for me. I don't know why, even though it's my favorite genre. Um, the next book I am rereading, actually, because I've been wanting to reread it for the past couple years, because I read it in 2016. It was my favorite book of 2016, and that is How I Found You by Gabriella Lepore. And what's kind of cool is I had reached out to Gabriella Lepore during that time that I had, like, finished it. Um, and told her thank you because it helped me during a very hard time and I'm kind of having a hard time right now too and we got to talking for quite a while and we do still kind of talk so it's kind of cool because she's a new favorite author of mine because she writes um like witch type magical stories that I like paranormal I guess I could say because witch witches still fall in the paranormal genre so I am rereading this I'm still in the prologue because I think this is going to be one that I read on my Kindle just at night because I only have it on an ebook and I'm trying to make this video quick or I have to delete one of my other things um because I don't have much time left <laughs> and my phone has 22% left so I'm gonna try and make the rest of this quick anyways um I went to the library today to drop off Fauna Hodel's book, One Day She'll Darken, because I had to return it. I sadly could not renew it. Although, the TV show did pretty good with sticking to the book, so... I kind of have already read the book. Um, if you look at it that way. And I went to go get The Sun Is Also a Star, because the movie came out, and I had tried to start reading it a long while ago. I think it was last summer, but I did not get that into it. Um, and I, so I was going to get it again today, but they did not have it. I don't think they had any of her, any of her books available, which made me sad because I really wanted to read Nicola Hune, but I could not read Nicola Hune because besides Stephanie Perkins, Nicola Hune's is my other favorite contemporary writer. So I have Lola and the Boy Next Door because I have read part of this before, but I was in my second semester of college and did not have much. Um, yeah, I need to hurry because this is going to going to die soon. Uh, my phone. <laughs> Maybe I should have charged my phone before I started filming. Who knows? We'll keep going. Anyways. I am excited to continue on. I was missing the characters from Anna and the French Kiss. Um, I almost got Isla and the Boy Next Door, but I had already, already grabbed two other books, and I had these the Raven Cycle series. Um, so this is a companion novel to Anna and the French Kiss, in case you're unfamiliar with this world. It's based in our world, contemporary novel. Um... Yeah, and I just love it, so I'm excited to kind of get back into that. Um, the next one I have tried reading, actually. Um, but it was not at a good time, and I don't even think if now is the right time to read this, but I was drawn to it, and that is More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. I've gotten partway through it before, but I wasn't clicking with the writing, and... and I've been wanting to read Adam Silvera. Um, I did read part of before I had to give it back to the library. I'm a slow reader, so it's hard to go through books fast. Um, I read the one that he did in duo, or he co-wrote. What if it's us? I think that's the book. If it's not, Please re remind me of the actual book title. Um, so this one, I do know that it is about depression, which is also a trigger for me at the moment. I just don't remember. That's not it. Um... I know it has like a cool plot to it and I want to see how it goes out so I am excited plus it's really short so 
if I tried really hard, I can probably get that done within a week. But we are really busy right now. And I don't know why I grabbed so many books. But it's for the entire month of May. So this is my May TBR. And for the last book, really quick before this shuts off on me, is A List of Cages, a novel by Robin Rowe. I've heard Jesse from Jesse the Reader talk about this book nonstop on his channel. Um, I don't really remember anything that it's about and what is there is something in the cover okay it looks like a piece of crayon I don't know anyways for some reason I was also drawn to this one like these two I was drawn to I have no idea why I was drawn to them partly it's because I have read part of this before and even though I I might not be in the right mindset to read it right now um I hope to read it. I, I don't really know why I have this many books plus the audiobook that I'm listening to, but I'm not going to continue that until I finish watch the series. That's my dog asleep. Oh, her ears are up. Um, anyways, this is my TBR for May. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. For May, I never really read seven books in a month, but I really want to challenge myself this month so that I can stop going on YouTube a lot. So, wish me luck. And I will do a May wrap-up or a June wrap-up. Yeah, May, June. Yeah. It's crazy that we're already to May. And we have, like, one more day left of... April. Okay. Let me know what you guys are planning to read down below for the month of May. Don't forget to subscribe for more journaling, writing, and book-related videos. Um, this is my first booktube type video in a long time. My battery is telling me that it's dying. I need to go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.